Let's make sure we're live. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today is September 27th, 2020, almost to the end of September. Wow, 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 what a year so far. I hope you're all doing well. Today is Sunday at 10 a.m. PDT, PST, my time, West Coast of Canada, United States. And this is the eighth live stream we're doing in seven days. We're busy this week and we're ending the set with comic book readings. And we have two comic books left from the initial few comic books that we picked to read and we kept on adding a few. Uh, so we're deciding to have finish off these ones until we, you know, before we start the next set of readings. And uh, until we wait for people to roll in, notifications to go out, let me give you my little intro. I am on Patreon, Slick Mc99. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well, enjoying your Sunday. What a nice day it is, right? Oh my God, how's it going? <laughs> I am on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Chicho. Cheryl, how you doing? Are you guys enjoying your Sunday so far? It's pretty chill here. It stopped raining, the sun's coming out. Uh, finally, we had like, uh, I don't know, a week of rain here. And I was protecting some of my uh, herbs I was growing outside under an umbrella so they wouldn't get, the flowers wouldn't get wet. But the, one of the flowers on one side got a little wet, so the flowers got a little moldy. So yesterday I was uh, busy cleaning that up. Uh, rain, rain too early. We need another month of sun. I am on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. If you want to support this work, if you want to follow this work, Patreon is a fantastic way to do so. I don't put anything behind paywalls. Everything's Creative Commons. Share and share alike. And for those of you that are supporting this work through Patreon, thank you for your support. Thank you for your support. Elder God, uh, 7 Eleven covers so far today in the pub. 7 Eleven covers. What do you mean, 7 Eleven covers? Elder God, Slick Mick, nice day. Lava, maybe the, their four slates fell off uh, my roof from wind nearly killed my car really wow 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 it was crazy here a little bit 7-eleven covers so far today in the pub cheryl says awesome i can't figure out what that means we are live streaming on twitch 7-eleven plates of food oh 711 plates of food have left kitchen damn <laughs> customers wow wow that's a lot man so far what the, you're eight hours ahead so you're 7 p.m <sighs> busy i like the chill sunday for me after god <laughs> much chiller here man uh, nobody served so far well live stream we're live streaming and we are live streaming on twitch gang twitch uh twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in the chat down there, Twitch is where you want to be at. And for those of you who are following, subscribing through Twitch, thank you very much. And the mods, as always, thank you for taking care of business and being here. I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live and on Elo Minds, Gab, VK, Parlor, and Twitter. Okay. So if you want to follow this work, um, following this work through those platforms is also a good way to do so we do share some content there for live streams we don't have any visuals i do upload the audio to soundcloud as podcasts on soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o and they should be available in your favorite podcasting platforms we say covers as some plates are sharers ah okay slick make elder god the joys of working in restaurants. Sheesh, <laughs> work done. The collar industry a good few times, but was never really great. Takes a lot of work, fair play uh, for doing it. Though work tougher hours, yeah. yeah. It can be exciting, 
right and some of my customers don't order food at all uh, su supremely oversimplified on my part yeah yeah alcohol is uh, where in my part of the world anyway alcohol prices are really expensive in Canada so restaurants and pubs and stuff like this majority of the money they're making is off of the alcohol uh, and they try to push drinking a lot uh, or promote it right Catholic tradition is good afternoon good afternoon folks I hope you're having a blessed Sunday you too brother you too brother and we will be uploading this video to BitChute and YouTube and if you're on those platforms you can support this work by subscribing following sharing turning on notifications and if you're on YouTube uh, you can support this work by joining YouTube membership the link for is somewhere down there okay aside from that uh, welcome everyone hello Graham how are you doing I started uh, looking at a few more pulp magazines and stuff man I'm really <laughs> loving the pulp books that, that we got on the comic call uh, they were just they're amazing really if I countered just drinkers over 1,000 people have been in oh my god Graham I've got some pulp men's magazines from the 1950s that are a little uh, risque oh risque <laughs> included yeah account countered included just drinkers that's you got you got a gigantic pub there elder god for me uh the big pubs and stuff are fun to go with if go to if you're uh just want to interact and have social settings and stuff but for me i i really enjoyed the little pubs um, when i was trekking around if i wanted to just go and chill somewhere for a few hours uh, so and the big pubs here are there aren't too many independent big pubs anymore restaurants there a lot of them are just giant chains right so they're all very generic there used to be some really nice larger pubs um, but slowly it just retail prices going up and taxes going up all the little mom and pop places uh, independent places a lot of them got put out of business right happy Sunday Cheryl says nice chill day I'm not sure if notifications have gone out it's a slow mo game today <laughs> what time is it it's like eight minutes in I finished my intro super quick uh, by the way gang for sure the gaming streams that we did uh, the three gaming streams that we did um, there is there is one thing that we didn't see and I know that's in another box somewhere was the GTA uh, game Vice City and GTA that I have was a dual pack that I bought and we didn't see that so I know there's at least two or three boxes somewhere uh, kicking it so if I find them I'll um, I'll do a little update if it's worthwhile doing it if there's a lot in there should we do a poll <laughs> I know there isn't too many people here, but we only got two comics to choose from, right? Instead of waiting for notifications to go off or people to pop in, we can decide what to read and we can just do our reading. Uh, just as a question, did you happen to see last week's show? Cheryl, which show? It's fun. I was thinking about adding more comics to this, but I think we need to get get they get these read we need to read these two i really want these two read uh, oh your show Graham. okay okay we're trying a kind kind of podcasty type format ah nice Graham. awesome that's great i haven't seen the discord notification yeah i don't think uh, the notifications have gone out yet because uh, we only got like you know just to, in the, into the teens of people here being live but you know I know we've done live streams where uh, twitch sends out that live uh, the notification after the live stream <laughs> like two three hours later you get a notification she shows live discord notification went out for me did it okay awesome grab as long as one of the two goes out uh, I'm okay we can do 
Should we do a poll? Should we do a poll to see which uh, which book we're gonna read? Sure, let's do it, Cheryl. <laughs> early bird gets the worm. In this case, early 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 viewers get to choose which comics we're reading. Let's do it. Let's do it. And maximum five minutes. I mean, we don't even need five minutes, but five minutes. Sure, just in case if people roll in, they see a little notification uh, saying there's a poll running to see which one uh, we're going to read. Check out Graham's uh, new format when you get a chance, folks. Okay. I didn't know Graham. That's okay. No worries. I just... Oh, the squirrel is into the garden again. The little bugger. Our squirrel's coming in here. He's been eating our tomatoes and it, the squirrel. We have, have a lot of pots in the in the in the in the what do you call it the patio so he digs them digs into the <laughs> berry stuff just making a mess the uh the the comic poll is running gang we got two people for uh crime does not pay let me pull, pull this out we got two crime does not pay one kid cult okay two crime does not pay one kid cult so far that's the vote have you tried red pepper flakes <gasps> catholic traditionalist you're brilliant i never even thought about it so basically i've got two and two two kid cold two co so basically put red pepper uh, flakes into the pots that won't damage the roots of the plants will it so that might deter the squirrel does <gasps> that won't damage the the pots uh, the plants i never even thought about it that's brilliant pepper flakes are awesome Cheryl seconds it oh I'm gonna do no it will not damage them awesome thank you thank you awesome never th I've been man I've, I've been trying to do but you can't keeping squirrels next year I'm gonna put netting all the way up okay so far we got two and two <laughs> I haven't voted yet I'm gonna see if there's gonna be a tie and I'm gonna vote if there's gonna be a tie I'm gonna vote for sure we can't have a tie in this one we got to do it we, we got to do a reading because we can't run another poll <laughs> we gotta we gotta we gotta read one of them oh three for crown does not pay excellent gang cast your votes this year if you're here i know there's too many people here this is going to bring down our uh what do you call it our uh, average view <laughs> viewership but that's okay <laughs> Uh, what's the date of the um, of the comics? The crime does not pay is 1952, and the kid Colt is 1962. Doctor P, oh, crime does not pay is until five. Kid Colt is number two. Poor Jack Kirby cover and um, Stan Lee not getting the love, but crime does not pay 1952. 1952 with Jack uh, John Dillinger story. There's a John Dillinger story here. And Kit Colt is the monster story. Cowboy versus monsters. Not bad, not bad. We're down to the probably last 30 seconds, 20 seconds. If you want to cast your vote, cast your vote. If you want to cast your vote, cast your vote. I gave Crime Does Not Pay a boost. Six votes for Crime Does Not Pay. Kit Colt gets three. Crime Does Not Pay wins. <laughs> kid cold we're gonna read this in the next comic book reading most likely in the next set that we announce okay so let's put this guy here we're gonna read crime does not pay so my guess is push notifications didn't go out which is it's okay we can do the reading uh, this video will be uploaded to bitchute and YouTube and it will be available as a video on demand on twitch for uh, a couple of weeks so people that miss it right now live they'll be able to catch it uh, in the replay i guess gang are you guys ready for the for the reading should we begin i'm gonna turn off hello kenny roberts how are you doing i'm gonna turn off the notifications i'm gonna turn off the chat okay down here boop boop dr p doing good kenny says 
Pole is done. Um, relocating to the hammock. Ah, nice, Cheryl. Awesome. <laughs> I actually tried shooting a video and doing a comic book reading once when I was laying down with the camera behind me reading like this, as if you would read two people together holding up the comics. It didn't come out as good, so I never released that video. Okay, I gave it a shot. It didn't work out. I'm gonna turn off chat gang. Thanks for being here. Uh, cool idea, cool idea, but it's just not stable enough, right? Um, it feels good. I used to do that with my nephews and my cousins hold up the anybody that's been around kids, you lay down and read to them, right? And it's super cool. Oh, video loss. Ooh, lost video. Did you lose video? Did it get hung up? No, we're still good. Okay, good, 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 good. Uh, okay, if if the video cuts out, uh, hopefully the it'll connect again. And I am recording this as well, so we'll just load it up. Uh, I'll just load up the recorded version. You no, know I mean there are lost Chicho videos that we haven't seen. Oh yeah, Graham. Yeah, there's some lost videos. There's more than one. There's some that I've made that I've never released. Uh, that's the best way I miss reading like that with the kiddo just not enough room anymore yeah yeah and it's a great way to read with kids it's it, meditative so meditative so amazing and a great experience for the kids right gang I'm turning off the chat Boop. and I'm gonna turn off my video and I'll come back after the reading see you soon Take a sip of tea. <clears throat> Meep seventeen twenty nine. Hi Chicho, caught your stream after a long time. How are you doing, well, man? Thank you very much. Doing well. Uh, I hope you're enjoying your Sunday, and we're gonna do a comic book reading. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another comic book reading. And as before, we are live streaming this on Twitch and there's a handful of people watching this live as we do this reading. And this is one of the books that we decided to read for reading set number four. And we just ran a poll and it was a choice between reading this and Kit Colt. Um, and this one won so for the next reading we'll be reading the kid cult but for today's reading we're reading a golden age comic crime does not pay from 1952 and this is a special comic one of the one of the unique ones where there's a story about john dillinger armed and dangerous let's check it out make sure get this thing focusing armed and dangerous move with caution John Dillinger, look at that on him, ominous face, ominous face, right? And a beautiful cover. Okay. Now, did I say what the grade on this is? I'm not sure what the grade on this is. I would give this, we'll crack it open, we'll take a look at the grade, okay? But this is Lev Gleason Publications. And Lev Gleason Publications in the 1950s uh, and the 1940s, they produced a uh, a fair bit of really well-known comics boy comics air boy daredevil not the daredevil from marvel comics but a different daredevil and of course crime does not pay and at one point they they you know they advertise their books as having you know five or six million readership on a monthly basis right which is huge huge i mean compare that to what comic book readership is now and it's it's a trickle it's a drop in the bucket uh compared to what you know how people were consuming entertainment and information uh in the golden age of comics and this book the couple of artists that i could find that have worked on this one of them is al nick williams okay and al mcwilliams um he started doing comic books for dal in the in 1938 and went all the way to 1970s and he's credited with uh and he does one of the stories and this is the don john dillinger story 
and the artist for this uh, Al McWilliamson is credited with creating the first African American lead character in comic strips okay and the other creator for this comic is uh, one of the other ones there is more but it's hard to find who they are uh, the other one I could find was Norman uh, Moore and uh, he he was really involved with the three stooges and he did a fair bit of comic books and stuff like this but he got involved with hanna barbera he he worked on the first 3d comic uh that was a mickey mouse comic book i believe and he did a, he you know worked with uh television and movies uh and in the 1970s he worked on uh scooby-doo movie and uh, speed buggy movie and uh, a lot of three stooges and stuff like this so there's a couple of artists here that have been involved in industry for a long time long time as far as the grade goes for this this is you know two two point five low grade definitely uh, it should be complete last time I checked it was complete uh, when I bought this let's see if this will focus take a look so this would be good 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 plus like there's no chunks missing from it right some people would grade this higher the lowest you would go with this is good good plus some people would say this is more of a three three point five so it is a uh, sort of back to there it is and the back cover is get prizes make money junior sport junior sports kit wristwatch for boys and girls flies 10,000 feet high what flies like an airplane wings revolve has motor like sound easily controlled with rod and reel sell one order ten thousand feet high seriously you're gonna put this on a string and fly ten thousand feet in the air damn first repeating cap rifle Ooh, i would love to get my hands on that right that's cool captain video great knife outfit another wristwatch what is it graham ingram guaranteed pocket watch not wristwatch pocket watch cowboy junior guitar oh bow and arrow set dick tracy camera right on electronic magnet dark game oh i used to have one of these and velcro 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 dark game and a real dartboard shoulder strap bag all the things uh, a growing society needs right cool <laughs> someone in the live stream is saying there's a five there elder god i wonder what the five is for let's take a look at this lev gleason publications uh publisher Charles Lev Gleason, publisher Charles Brio and Bob Wood editors. And Charles Brio edited a lot of the uh, Lev Gleason books. Okay. Gleason books. Especially the crime does not pay. Conforms to the comic code, comics code. Even though this is 19, check this out. Author authorized ACMP, right? Confirms to the comics code. But this is 1952, I believe should be let's check it out maybe i got it confused where this is supposed to be the first issue of crime does not pay was 1952 but i don't think so well i could be mistaken on it i'll check it before 
we load it up. So I'll date it properly and then we load it on uh, onto BitChute and YouTube. Okay. Take a look. Here's another advertisement. Look slimmer, look younger. The sensational new Whitler Waste. sink reduces your appearance up to two to four inches yikes four to six years younger instantly look at that it's a corset basically Damn, that would not be comfortable <laughs> look at this that would not be comfortable right but it's more than a corset it goes all the way down Graham is uh, on the live stream is providing us some info AMC ACMP is the Association of Comics Magazines Publishers which was based on the movie movie codes and would later become the template for the Comics Code Authority that we know today ah okay awesome Graham thank you awesome and the crime does not pay a lot of these comics especially with the reefer madness comics and stuff like this they were basically a uh, major source of propaganda for governments and police and stuff like this true detective cases wild action sudden death right and we read one of the golden age comics uh, i forget what the title was it was basically about reefer madness it was insane how much propaganda there was right should we begin to read crime does not pay let's take a look at this let's read the fine print here check it out in cons consideration of innocent persons involved in and relatives of others the names of characters depicted in this magazine are fictional any similarity to names or people living or dead is entirely coincidental this in no way affects uh, the accuracy of these stories which are based on fact so this is like hollywood saying based on a true story and that's the only only thing that's really factual about the story that is based on a true story <laughs> right <laughs> it's funny crime does not pay let's have a read through this book warning thieves will be prosecuted all Lev Gleason comic magazines are distributed upon a consignment basis unsold copies and newsstand returns remain the property of the publisher certain unscrupulous individuals steal the inside contents of comic magazines and sell them as coverless copies the sale or distribution of coverless cop coverless copies of this magazine is unauthorized and illegal all violators will be prosecuted to the full extent of the law and what this thing's talking about here is there was uh, there was a thing where uh, stores for any unsold copies of the magazine instead of shipping all the magazines back because it was just cost more it would be heavier they would tear off the covers and ship the covers to back to the distributor and that's something that's happening now as well and that way the magazines the covers uh, the the issues that didn't have a cover they were supposed to be destroyed right so they wouldn't be supposed to be sold but i guess some stores would tear off the the covers send the covers back get refund or reimbursement or get credit for whatever comics they didn't sell and then they would sell the coverless copies for lower price right so they're getting more for their money 
uh, so they're generating more income and if you look online and um, different different websites and different places uh, you can buy coverless copies of comic books okay so that's what this is referring to okay so let's read the John Dillinger desperado to the death issue and this is done by uh, Al McWilliams okay let's read this first what does this say cut out and save uh, coupon see valuable trading card offer following the story send this with your order blank two coupons plus 10 cents will entitle you to one set of trading cards cool this is like coupons uh, comic books have done this over the decades right coupons cut out uh, to get offers or order forms and stuff like this John Dillinger desperado to the death a true crime story surrender quietly Dillinger if you reach you die those are coppers I guess they caught up with me an alleyway that's my cover page let's read the build up to it All right when John Dillinger was paroled from Indiana State Prison on May 10th 1933 after serving almost nine years for robbery he was an underworld unknown just another punk who'd done his time yet scarcely one year later his name shrieked from every newspaper headline in America and his bloody deeds were on every citizen's shocked lips for an obscure convict a mere number he ended up the target of a manhunt that stretched from the beaches of Florida to the cold peaks of the Rockies. The purpose of the Im imprisonment is not only to punish men for the crimes they commit but to reform them and to prepare them for a better useful life one criminal defied it all john dillinger john you've been here eight and a half years what's the first thing you're going to do once you get out maybe i'll rob a bank dillinger says look at the cops laughing in the back Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Bob, a bank. Rob a bank. What a sense of humor. Ha ha. State prison supplies. And he goes robbing a bank. On May 11th, 1933, one day after John Herbert Dillinger was uh, paroled from Indiana State Prison, keep him, keep him high. I'll drop anybody who blinks an eye pass out your cash make it snappy don't shoot the clerk says so Dillinger's got his partner and on May 12 1933 at an Illinois bank across the border just so you don't take it into your dumb head to start anything when we leave bang snap someone the head anybody who gets fidgety gets the same treatment just be nice and quiet his partner says a few days later in Michigan how much do we get John when when you hit a small bank Logan you get a small return we're just cutting our teeth pal they're running out so it looks like there's three of them now
then the gang's teeth got a little sharper in Ohio a few weeks later looks like we hit pay dirt 30 grand if there is a cent if it were 300 million you'd never live to enjoy it the bank teller says or bank manager a human being can't enjoy anything he doesn't deserve shut up philosopher Dillinger says smack to the back of the head so you won't shut up huh chump you deserve this do you enjoy it Cock. see it isn't what you deserve that makes you happy bub it's what you get don't waste your breath on him John one of his partners says as months passed the gang's teeth not only grew sharper they began to bite murder Dillinger stay where you are I'm shooting to kill Bang. look at the money flying Don Dillinger's laughing coughs on the ground one day in Ohio somebody didn't stay where he was and John Dillinger Kate kept his promise he shot to kill leave him be John I already put a slug into him yeah but he ain't croaked keep going they've touched off the alarm look at the time it's like 8 a.m. just before the bank opens maybe when that latest holdup seemed reconstruct seemed reconstructed the one who seemed to be the leader stood right here right here when he fired at us he put his hand up here like this while he took aim then he left left us a memory Jim go over that door carefully maybe it will yield some prints look at him looking at that door with a little uh, lens eh? and I guess the uh, the thing that guys holding is like powder talcum powder or something Two days later, the face and prints of John Dillinger decorated the State Investigation Bureau wall. John Dillinger, hmm, never heard of him, the cop says. You will. Dillinger must have powered those other powered those other bank stick stick ups that broke out in the Midwest. For the first time the bank faced Dillinger stared from the police station and post office bulletin boards John Dillinger hmm always a new face ah isn't that the same guy that looks like the same guy that uh, when Dillinger was leaving the the jail look at that where was it there it is take a look looks like the same guy see that and same type of look right. so he doesn't even remember maybe meanwhile it was business as usual for Don D John Dillinger who had two abiding pl pleasures beside bank robbery woman and action movies one afternoon in september 1933 i hope the outlaw gets it now sure he gets it baby it's the end of the picture the bad guy always gets killed in the last reel the pictures got got to the pictures got to end that way 
Dillinger says. That's what's so phony. It never works out like that, baby. In real life, the picture goes on and on, and so so does the bad guy. But but you always read about crooks getting caught by the law, she says. They eventually make a mistake and they're caught. That's what the law wants you to believe that the crook hasn't got a chance that's only true for the saps but for a smart guy that's different Dillinger says you sound as if you're talking from experience you're not mixed up with the rackets are you because if you are I don't go around with crooks she says don't be silly baby we were only talking let's get a beer and a sandwich The world sure changed for the worse when they re repealed prohibition. The government ru ruined the beautiful racket. Lots of guys cleaned up on booze, Dillinger says. They repealed the Volstead Act to stop crime and corruption, she says. They'll never stop crime. The guys who were in booze aren't going to go out and take desk jobs or dig ditches they're going to switch rackets that's all dillinger says it's dillinger sure enough let's take him there's a couple of undercover cops there the bootleggers are going to move into other rackets bank robbing bank robbing for in grasp hey what's the big idea keep your oh there's see the gun the guy's holding a gun on him the guy with brown you can see the the nozzle pointing out right keep your hands on the hot dog frisk him ed police but you said the girl says you'll tell us at the police station what he said sister come on both of you oh they're arresting her as well you guys have nothing on me dillinger says if you call call eight or nine if you call eight or nine bank uh bank jobs nothing you're right get moving more than one person who visited the DA's office the next day recognized the tall, cold featured desperado. That's him. I remember his voice. The way he pushed that old man to the floor. That's why I'll never forget him. The old lady says. This is just your temporary home, Dillinger. He's telling me Logan should bust me out of the spot easy. One sheriff and two deputies mining this crack bo cracker box. Look at that. Dillinger had scarcely counted the bars on the cell when his underworld friends showed up. We're from Indiana State Prison. We've come to get Dillinger. He's a parolee from Indiana, you know. I know nothing about it. The DA told me to hold Dillinger, and that's what I'm doing. Let's see your credentials, the cop says. So he's got Dillinger's got three of his buddies there. Here's our, here's our credentials, and they pull a gun. Here's our credentials. We're taking Dillinger with us. Try to stop us, and we'll kill you. You bulls get against the wall. Backs to us, quick. Listen, you punks. We'll get you for this. Five minutes after you're out of here, the cop says. 
Oh, look at this. They shoot the cop. Thanks for reminding us, Sheriff. So just to make sure you don't. doesn't look like he's dead he's on the ground gasp you murdering skunks gasp you'll never make it that's for us to see pick up his gun fats give us the key cell keys or you're joining your boss on the floor they tell the other cop minutes later John Herbert Dillinger was out they got him I ripped out all the wires like you said John there's plenty of guns and ammunitions here John good we're going to need it there are a lot of stubborn coppers in this county so there's four of them now with the gang right you're a fool Dillinger gasp you can't escape you you are a prisoner the whole United States is your jail you can't get out look who's talking you're croaking you're croaking sheriff but I'm on my feet Dillinger says I've seen the last of jail jails you'll never take me alive again they'll never take you at all John it's a big country a man takes up very little space if he knows where to hide and so began Dillinger's eight months reign of terror where no Midwestern bank opened in the morning without wondering if Dillinger would be would be that af would be in that afternoon to make an unexpected withdrawal I've got only one thing on my mind now to stay alive and for that I need dough and more dough Bam. puts on his little mask and grabs the money Dillinger knew he was at war with the United States and everybody in it he needed guns and ammunitions these he found in of all places police stations I had a funny thought I might be killing you guys with your own bullets oh look at that you won't there's only one one of you Dillinger but many of us if one cop won't get you another one will look at that he's still got his gang with him he's like two six shooters on him now and what did Dillinger need his money for hideouts a man on the lamb doesn't lamb very long without a fat bankroll sure I'll let you hold up here for five grand honest Dillinger if it was anybody else but you I wouldn't take a million bucks yeah I know money doesn't mean anything to you you're doing this for friendship five grand oh okay here you are Dillinger is not long for this world the guy is thinking one of his partners on the on the couch right they're probably thinking of ditching up Dillinger needed a gang around him but a gang of a marked man also requires a big payroll Dillinger was buying loyalty and loyalty comes dear in the underworld you're broke this wipes you out John don't it I'm never wiped out Logan not so long as there's a bank on some corner tomorrow we take the ninth national bank in Chicago 
Look at the grin on the fat guy in the back. He's got a cigar counting his money. He's happy. He'll stick around for the ride. He's the same guy that was lying on the couch, right? The guy in the brown suit. There was no point in Dillinger pulling small stick-ups any longer. Now he needed big dough, bigger loot for bigger payrolls. Let's have no trouble and nobody will be hurt. Look at the machine gun. I forgot what that's called. The Oh, that machine gun. Uh, oh, there's a name for it. It's a something gun. Uh, they're super cool. It's got like a round uh, bullet. Uh, Thing you load on there look out John that guard Gat Gatler gun is called a Gatler gun look at that just takes out the guard this guard is hard of hearing is anybody else slightly deaf they'll know we we mean business now toss out those sacks of dough they took him out Thompson gun is that what they're called someone on live stream Cheryl's mentioning it Tommy gun that's right they call it Tommy gun right oh. the bump off will boil the cops up like a volcano we ought to get out of this county you're right Logan we need a rest anyway head for Florida we're going to take it easy for a few weeks and live off this hall drive off look at him just chilling on the beach vacation from bank robbery Fats Corey wanted to stick with the gang but not under Dillinger's leadership he had plans know what's out there John sure fats cuba the west indies that's right no more heat no more cops you can siesta your life away john nobody will bother you just grow a mustache and say see i got the guys lined up who can take take you there fats you're right here i am like a monkey in a cage i should bust right out Oh, he's trying to make his way to Cuba, maybe. Oh, look at this. What's going on here? Fats. Here's the 10 grand you, you your Cubans wanted. What's my guarantee I won't whistle from my dough? You've got my word, John. The word of a guy who stuck to you through thick and thin. Just don't louse, up, louse us up, fats. A bullet can cut through blubber as well as bone. Oh, they're threatening him now. Dillinger didn't fully trust his advisor. He told his trusty pal, Logan, to follow fats. And fats kept the date with both a plain clothes man and death. The double crosser fats is selling us out to the cops let him have it we've got to tip john off quick the cops know where he's holed up now oh, they take him out there it goes there's three uh, three people in the car but his gang was four so if they took out fast so there must have been five so they pick someone else up the detective miraculously escaped Logan's barrage and a half hour later police arrived at Dillinger's hotel he's gone from here yes but he'll turn up somewhere else and somewhere else he'll run into the same trouble stoolies who will sell him out for a dime Meanwhile, 
a grim faced killer again headed west so they're back to uh, four people fats may his fat soul rot had a good idea beating it out of the states the south's too hot now to look around for a guy to sneak us out but how about the southwest john anybody logan know anybody logan there's freddie bells in tuscan he specializes in smuggling people across the mex border they drove day and night on one january day not far from tuscan they stopped for repair and gas steak and chops cold beer give her the works we're going to get a bite to eat okay i'll call you when i'm finished the mechanic says wait a second john i got an idea this one of his gang members says there's a bus coming candy and me will hop hop in and go into tuscan we'll get things all straightened out with uh, freddy by the time you knock on his door everything will be on ice okay i've got freddy's address i'll see you in about an hour 10 minutes later as dillinger eight two garage mechanics a father and a son stumble across something i've got the wheel off for pete's sake hand me that spare what in the what in the tarnation are you looking at that that gulp look what i found in the back guns a pile of guns take it easy son just close the lid quietly put the wheel back on the car i'll call the police Five minutes later, the police arrived. Dillinger didn't have a chance to draw his gun. I'll only ask you to raise him once, Dillinger. Then we start shooting. Your gun talks. I know when I'm licked, Dillinger says. He was booked and returned to Indiana, where he was committed to a county jail. He spent a week fashioning a wooden fashioning a wooden gun now oh, he's got a wooden gun under his pillow ah oh, maybe fashioning a wooden gun and a plan to use it one night pretending to have an ulcer pain where is that hot milk i need a glass of hot milk gas i'm dying here i've got your hot milk sit up the cop says when a killer of dillinger's reputation pokes a hard object into your spine oh look at that hard, hard object into your spine and says it's a gun you're in no frame of mind to dispute it that's what made possible his fabulous escape listen bull unless you open every cell on this floor and turn over your guns your pal gets it what's the answer okay dillinger don't, don't shoot ah look at this they're freeing all of them minutes later now that i've got a real rod you can have mine which is wooden gentle wooden gents like your heads ha <laughs> ha they're laughing busting out with the hunk of wood ha <laughs> ha that'll hit the front pages look at that he throws the wooden gun at him look at the smile on their faces dillinger's biggest mistake 
was taking the sheriff's auto across the Illinois state line for the first time he had committed a federal offense head for Chicago the bigger the bigger the city the easier to get lost in it welcome to Indiana Dillinger had violated the National Motor Vehicle Theft Act and brought himself within jurisdiction of the FBI who immediately swung into action obtained the names of Dillinger's relatives friends and contacts put them under surveillance Dillinger I wonder what makes guys like that tick the other FBI agent says He's a man who wanted an easy life so he robbed to get it then he killed and to escape punishment he killed some more we must get him quick the FBI says on March 31st in st. Paul in st. Paul Dillinger escaped from FBI agents after a gun battle in April, he was traced to uh, Rhine, Rhinelander, Wisconsin, Wisconsin, where he again escaped in the nick of time. Jim's hit. Keep on going. They had a roadblock set up for him. Looks like it. That's a cop car. See that little light siren on top of the hood, or on top of the, yeah, the hood. Or the top the hunt went on unrelentingly resulting in the arrest of all of Dillinger's criminal pals by July the hunt had narrowed to the Chicago area where Dillinger had hidden out now he needed companionship any companionship one day in a sandwich shop sure I don't mind going out with you mister but I got a girlfriend she rooms with me I promise to go to the movie with her tonight bring her along I don't mind company Dillinger says aha uh -huh, look at that he's got a couple of girls dating him to the movies he's all happy the evening was more costly than Dillinger imagined the friend recognized the public enemy and she contacted the FBI can you lead us to him oh she's telling the FBI about him yes he's taking my girlfriend and me to the movie tonight I can point him out to you but you've got to protect me he might kill me that night as FBI agents stationed themselves all around the theater area John Dillinger came out with a girl on each arm hey wait March look at that pretty dress call that pretty Dillinger says you should see the dress shops I've seen in New York and Florida he's bragging suddenly startled Dillinger caught sight of something he noticed how one girl retreated in fright guys crossing the street is a trap Dillinger thinks surrender quietly Dillinger if you reach you die bang 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 feds they caught up with me an alleyway that's my cover oh they got him on that side too running they're in here too more feds no ah, bang bang they take him out and so john herbert dillinger famous for nothing but his frantic struggles to avoid punishment fell at last in the gutter he made good on only one boost that he that he would never be taken alive but he proved again that crime does not pay the end <laughs> what's this bottom part check it out what does this say 
So he died on 22-7-1934, September 7th, no, July 7th, July 22nd, 1934. What would you do if you saw a friend's face on a wanted poster? When you were down and out, he was generous to you. But in plain English, in bold print, he is sought for a wanton murder. You will see the decision Jeb Dolan has to make in the next issue of Crime Does Not Pay. When you read the foam at the mouth career of Pretty Boy Floyd, oh, the next one was Pretty Boy Floyd. That's cool. We need to get our hands on Pretty Boy Floyd. So this is Crime Does Not Pay, 19, uh, 116. So 117 would have been pre boy Floyd. Cool, cool, cool. All right. That was a good read. I don't know how much of it is historically accurate. I'm pretty sure the dates would be historically accurate. Uh, and I know the story of this is accurate because John Dillinger got taken out at a movie theater with two girls. Cool. Electronic walkie talkies. Nice. Electronic walkie talkies for how much? Two walkie talkies. Three forty nine. Right. The latest fat, the green <laughs> greatest <laughs> hit. Sherlock Holmes Detective Cat. Check this out. This is Sherlock Holmes detective cap. Man, oh man. That's the that's the latest fashion. It's the latest fad. Man, I think in in, in school if you wear one of these you get beat up. <laughs> the latest fad. The greatest hit by Sherlock Holmes detective cap. For two ninety eight. That's expensive back then you could buy 30 30 comic books man check that out check that out what's this one bloody hideout let's have a read let's have a read look at the crash nice nice panel eh Let's read that little intro to it. So this story is Bloody Hideouts. Right. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. In our society, it is necessary for man-made laws to exist in order that justice prevail. But man is not inflammable, infl if infallible, and on occasion the law proves helpless or limited in some of these instances a strange thing known as poetic justice brings about the destru uh, destruction of criminals such ju such justice rule that the bloody hangouts our story opens in the midwest town on march 4th 1951 So there's four gangsters in a car escaping from the police it's a special the car cool look at that crash i'm hurt bad this pain is killing me those dirty rotten skunks get me to a doctor quick I'm dying that's the guy in the front that guy's saying it does he look like he's in pain let's check it out let's check out his facial expression yeah he doesn't look too good he's in agony the driver better look forward
Take it easy, Andy. Take it easy, Andy. We can't stop now. Not with the bulls so close on our tail. Hey, that was a good shot, Gus. You got their tires. I got them. Step on it. So he took out their tires. Cool. Arriving at their hideout, Andy Clayson, the wounded brains of the crime ring, was aided with the car by Jack Hearth and Richie Harlick. Gus, you rat, I know you want me to die, so you take so you can take my share of the hall. Please, please get me to a doctor easy boys get him inside and get him a bed there's the blood on his shirt check it out and blood on the guy's hands take a gander richie there's 125 g's in this bag yeah but don't forget we killed a bank guard and a teller. You know I don't go in for unnecessary killing. Ah, oh, stow it. It was either them or us, and I like it this way. Matter of fact, now that it's all over i wouldn't mind andy kicking off he's got a nerve there's 50 g's for himself and leaving us only 25 g's a piece oh this pain get me a doctor i got to have a doc he's like hurting oh look at that he pulls a gun on his partners As the hours dragged by, it grew dark. Finally, Andy found it necessary to, to resort to drastic measures. You're a bunch of dirty rats waiting for me to die, doing me out of my share. Well, it won't work. I've got you covered, Jack. Don't move. Call Gus and Richie or I'll pull this trigger. You're delirious, Andy. You don't know what you're doing, but okay, you win. I'll call him. 20 minutes after Jack had phoned Richie and Gus at the point of Andy's gun. What do you want, Andy? Hey, what's going on here? What's up? I need a doc and bad. You're going to get one or help me. I'll kill Jack on the spot. You want a dead brother? Oh, it's his brother. Oh, look at that. He's got his gun on his head. Okay, Andy. You win. But if we don't come back, remember, you sent us right into the cop's hands. You'd better come back. And fast. I'll give you 20 minutes to get me a medic or Jack's a dead pigeon Gus he means it don't try anything fancy please he he'll kill me several minutes later Gus and Richie were admitted by Dr. Clyde Bur Burris a friend of ours had an accident doc you got to come real quick we can't move him I'll be right with you. Give me the address and phone number. I have to leave it with my answering service in case of emergency. What is it, Clyde? His wife asks. Ch 
tricky, huh? Okay, I'll feed it to you straight. He was shot by the cops. Now get moving or I'll plug you. You mean, you, you men don't frighten me. You won't shoot me while your friend's life hangs in the balance, the doctor says. Oh, look at the way they're twisting the wife's arm. Ouch. Ouch, ouch. Look, Doc, you got the you got a nice wife it'll be a shame to put a bullet through such a pretty head but it's one way or of convincing you that i mean business ouch whoa no don't i'll go with you just leave her alone i'll get my coat and my bag They're here in my office. I'll only be a moment. Get your coat too, sister. You're wise to the setup and we can't take any chances. Leave you behind and you'll scream copper. Hilda, don't do it. They're right behind you. Oh, what's Hilda doing? Hilda, don't do it. Operator, get me the, oh, help, police, police. Gus, she's calling the cops. Okay, baby, this is the payoff. No, stop. The doctor says. Oh, they smack the doc. Don't you, don't you dare lay a hand on oh, Clyde. The wife yells. Okay, doc, we'll work you over too. If that's what you want, there oh. gus we've no time to waste andy's got jack and the cop will be barking in here in no time oh he's just gonna keep on smacking him oh uh, oh yeah you're right richie come on you punk up on your feet drags the doctor up But meanwhile, machinery had gone into action. The opera operator noticed the police, notified the police, and the doctor's next door neighbor, awakened by the shouting, peered out of the window. Yes, yes, I see. Can you trace that call operator and give us the address? That's a cop station, and there's a neighbor, right? Good heavens those two men with Doc Burr, Burris and his wife look like they had guns license number MU 4341 heading west I better write that down upon arriving Dr. Burris examined Andy's wound it's very serious you don't expect me to operate in this filth you need hospitalization there's no means with which to sterilize my instruments it can't be done shut up and get to work the hospitals means giving my myself up and I fry for murder come on get busy oh, look at that what are you doing what's that stuff ether it'll just knock you out until after I remove the bandit bullet nicks on that stuff I'm keeping the boys covered as well as you they just love to have me knocked out so they can finish the job the cops started drop it I'll bear the pain Andy says look at that he was putting ether on a gauze to put on his uh, face At Andy's insistence, Dr. Burris began the tedious task 
of removing the bullet. Ugh. Don't try anything funny, Doc. Ugh. Remember your wife's life is at the stake. Oh, look at that. I'll do my best. They're, they're at odds with each other. Maybe I'll get a chance to... Whoa, he's passed out probably from the intensity of the pain he's gone i know i can't leave him like this oh god i've got to finish or he'll bleed to death if only the others don't notice it working feverishly fearing the possibility of andy's recover recovering consciousness Burroughs applied the bandages and then all right put up your hands fast the doctor grabbed the gun what what the dickens oh that's andy's gun he's he's got us covered okay wise guy now drop the heater i don't want to kill your wife so don't make it necessary now drop it oh the wife says what no no don't hurt her here I, I drop it the doc says this'll teach you teach you that it ain't healthy to mess around doc that's it jack beat him up oh they're going crazy on him oh no stop it stop it you'll kill him okay boys he's learned his lesson leave him alone hey and he's passed out that's how the doc got his gun all the better bumping bumping him off won't be so difficult now with him the doc and his wife out of the way will be able to lame We'll be able to lamb. We'll be able to lamb out of here with the dough. No, I told you before. I don't go for any unnecessary killing. The guy in the green suit says. Ah, oh, look at this. The two brothers are going crazy. Who do you think you're giving orders to, you punk? You're, you're a squeamish yellow-bellied sissy you make me sick i'm giving the orders from now on and this is this is to convince you oh why you bam smacks him i'll kill you for that you rat i'll uh pulls a gun bang 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 buck me will you okay scum now there's only jack and me but don't worry you'll soon have company where you're going kills a partner oh look at this the centerfold is detached that's okay one down and three to go the gangster says glad you come come to doc i like to see the expression on a man on a guy's face before he's chilled look at him jack look how scared they look clyde he's crazy he's he's completely out of his mind I'm, I'm sorry it had to end like this hilda oh the doc knows what's coming oh no he doesn't look at that and he recouped but unseen by either Gus or Jack, Andy suddenly recovered consciousness and edged to over towards the dead Richie's gun. You always were too ambitious, Gus. How did you like a little of your own medicine? Bang, bang. Oh. There goes Gus. Andy, but you were... Listen, Andy, I'm on your side, the brother says. Oh. Shh. 
sure after I kill your brother what are you running running for Jack you ain't going any place oh and he kills a brother too bang bang now's my chance I've got to get that gun before he turns around and sees me the doc says drop that gun drop it or I'll shoot oh, look at the gun smoking oh well pretty quick work doc but you're crazy if you think I'll let myself be taken with the chair facing me I just as soon as die here uh oh turns around I don't want to kill you but I'll shoot if you drop if you don't drop it all right if that's the way you want it what well, it it's empty ha 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 now ain't that just too bad ha 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 and he says and you see a little click click on the gun click click slowly Andy stumbles closer his gun leveled with deadly aim oh Clyde Clyde he's going to to don't cry Hilda don't cry the doc says ha ha now all the dough is mine the whole 125 G's I'm all patched up and the only ones who can identify me are gonna die right oh he passes out why he just he keeled over what happened Clyde he's dead oh he died he's dead phew and not a moment too soon probably from lack of immediate attention wow hey what's going on here it's the Cla class and mob oh the class and mob and then he just fell over dead but I don't understand how you managed to get here thank your wife's screaming <laughs> the operator traced the call traced the call and when he got got to your house it seems your neighbor noticed the car and the direction in which you headed it took us a little while but the whole force was on the job the end the class and mob don't know the class and mob but they ain't no more fun the alki racket what is an alki racket one thing I noticed here they were calling cops bulls so that must have been a term that they used for cops bulls bulls interesting what's this one and what's this one the ad you're gonna like it crazy get yours now hooray 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 what is this it's cards these would be worth it I think these cards twice the size of those shown here are printed in full color your favorite comic characters are are on them and everybody wants them decorate your room with them give them to friends save them but whatever you do hurry 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 half of actual size scale factor so these are cards for uh, crime does not pay um, boy comics crime and punishment daredevil and black diamond just send us two of these coupons oh these coupons this is a sample of the coupon you need so I guess these, these coupons so for 20 cents you could have got these guys you would have kicked down the grade on two of these guys so are the cars worth more I don't know let's check it out the next story and this one is by Norman 
Marr. We don't know who the artist. I couldn't figure out who the artist. Find out who the artist was for this last story we read. But this one, the story is by Norman Moorer. And again, uh, the artist for this is, he was in comics for a long time. He created the first 3D comics with Mickey Mouse. And he did a lot of Hanna-Barbera stuff and is associated with uh, the Three Stooges as well, right? And he worked in film and television and stuff like that. So he was in the entertainment industry for a long time. Right. Let's take a look nice panel love these golden age panels the first basically three quarters two-thirds of a page is the big panel that introduces a story right. pretty cool hear no evil a true crime story let's see what it's about Eugene Muller's Miller's life wasn't worth a worth a plugged nickel from the day his insane lust for easy money and vengeance on society led him through a bloody violent career and finally to a violent end state bank you dirty skunk call me deaf will ya smack take some down it says guard there bank that's supposed to be bank guard the label right there bank guard boom takes him out what does his partner say hey eugene lay off you'll kill the punk come on i'm getting jittery let's blow out of here before the cops come there's five of them in the gang look at that one two three and is the guy in the back no he's part of the so there's four of them in the gang that's the gun coming out tommy gun tommy gun In the laundry of a state reformatory about 1939 hey you new guy I want to talk to you I hear you're trying to muscle muscle in as head man around here well just forget it don't forget those ideas because I'm boss are you kidding go on beat it you big ape nobody pushes Eugene Mo Miller around so this is a flashback you crumb I told you to keep your lousy paws off me chicky the guards oh, look at that he's got a partner take that break it up over there the cop says or the guard says when Eugene regained consciousness all his head all he heard was a loud persistent ringing in his ears ring 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 oh where am i my head my whole head is ringing seems like the nerves in his left ear have been impaired i'm afraid his hearing will never be the same my ears i can't hear what did you lousy coppers do to my ears orderly quick uh, a straight jacket oh they're gonna put him in a straight jacket Miller was quickly subdued by an orderly for a week he raved and screamed but finally he quieted down all right Miller you're looking better today 
if you think you can behave yourself will take that straight jacket off I know I know I'll be a good boy get this monkey suit off me he says first first I'll give you an auto audio meter test to determine just how much of a hearing loss you have then I'll fit you with an aid your hearing should be almost normal with it drop dead <laughs> he's thinking I'll get you dirty rotten coppers for doing this to me three years later Eugene was released into society no longer just a kid who made a few mistakes but a hardened vengeful criminal so long coppers you'll hear of Eugene Miller again raises his fist this is the joint 2100 Central Street Nick and Irv will croak when they see me knock knock who's the new guy he says I don't like his looks <laughs> she admits he's all right Eugene handles a car like it was his baby gee Eugene it's great to see you the little skinny guy says say what's that crazy looking gimmick in your ear Eugene lay off him chic will ya oh he doesn't like it Eugene's got a he's on hair trigger I'm deaf see deaf but I'll st still choke the life out of you you rat making fun of me take it easy Eugene honest the poor jerk didn't he didn't mean nothing like that let's see what their plan is three years is a long time to be caged up but it picked up plenty new angles and in, in stir first we'll pull a few small jobs just to get back into shape then we'll be hitting the big time nothing but bank and armored car jobs for us we're gonna need a good hideout though just one thing i want you guys to get 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 straight i plan i plan the jobs so i'm boss of the outfit okay miller don't get excited what do you say boys is that is that right boys sure but what's wrong with this place as a hideout the stupid cops would never think of looking right under their noses for it and so for a month Miller and his boys made themselves the most wanted criminals in the country nightclub gas station jewelry so those are the places that they're hidden up eight thousand and this is only the beginning we're gonna heist the bank next so we'll do better yeah i was thinking eight g's to divvy up among four guys ain't much worth the risk A few days later come on everybody up with them and nobody makes a move gets his head blown off and anybody makes a move gets his head blown off let's get a move on get the dough in the bags this is an outrage you'll never get away with it don't waste your breath Joe the guy probably can't hear a word you're saying deaf he's wearing the hearing aid oh man bang shoot some for calling him deaf let me kill him let me kill him 
the dirty rotten cop called me deaf have you gone batty you'll get us get us a murder rap come on let's get out of here I've got the dough Eugene's losing it lost it from the beginning how much did we get about 60 grand shut up and step on the gas Honey, oh Eugene, honey, say, tinier, just how deaf are you? Oh, I got to yell my little old brains out into the box under your jacket for you to hear me. Oh, that's not gonna go down well. Look at the gangsters, they're like, crap, what did she just say? Oh, no, oh, that's not gonna be good. blast you nobody talks to me that way oh Eugene smack that's not even a smack that's a full-blown punch Cock. ouch ouch oh I totally knocked her out look at that not nice Miller continued beating the girl oh no until until Sheik and Irving were finally able to tear him away it's too late she's dead oh he beat her to death not nice poor stupid Eugene Miller added a killing to his career of crime the boys now lived in constant terror of saying or doing anything that might get him off again nick you've you've got to get rid of him we can't trust that maniac he'll kill us all we'll take care of miller in due time we need him for this job oh they're hitting the armored car hey mac you're holding up traffic get your car off the road sorry but she keeps stalling I need a push Miller says well we're going out to the next page we're gonna stay on here oh these armored cops aren't very smart okay Mac we're in a hurry so I'll take a look you probably need a, t a tow truck hurry up we've got to make this delivery before five what the yeah, pulls out the gun great scott a robbery in broad daylight the armored cop says okay fella you know what we want let's have the keys to the rear compartments okay you dirty cowards put up your hands oh they come out with a tommy gun the cops got them too look at that we give up don't shoot one of the gangsters says I still got your boy if you try it stop me I'll plug him you won't get away with this the cop says hit the road copper Bam. oh he takes him to the car and hops in the car and drives away the lousy cop hit me hit my aid I can't hear now oh no he's literally deaf now Miller headed for a railroad station he ditched the car on a dirt road and made it the rest of the way on foot Phew, barely made it he's smoking a cigar oh, look at that a cop noticed him what the hey buddy no smoking haha -ha. you'll have to ditch that cigar stogie coming train oh he's at the train station that's why no smoking look at that and he didn't hear him right 
But Eugene couldn't hear the cop. Hey, what are you doing? Stop, or I'll have to pull you in. If you want me, come and get me. He pulls out his gun. Bang, bang. Oh, no. Stop, you crazy fool. The train's coming. Look out. He'll be killed. Ah, uh, he jumps in. <laughs> train runs him over. And so in March 1943, Eugene Miller, thief, murderer, perished under the wheels of an onrushing train. The end. Ta da I wonder if this is this has got to be uh, this guy's got to be for real right Eugene Miller March 1943 I wonder if that's the way he died I'm guessing yeah what's this write thrilling love letters oh what write thrilling love letters no longer need your letters to be dry awkward or uninteresting how to write love letters is a complete book that shows you how everybody everyday things can sound thrilling it helps you to express your personality in every letter you write this new book contains dozens of actual sample letters that show you just how to write love letters from beginning to end <laughs> cool how to break the ice how to make everyday events sound interesting how to make your sweetheart write more often how to express your love how to make or break a date oh how to acknowledge a gift how to make up how to say those little things how to make him or her miss you how to propose by letter ah. 98 cents for the book <laughs> hey fellas an exact replica of the Air Force insignia for only 50 cents tricky vanishing card <laughs> be a ventriloquist funny oh we got another one another story very cool very cool and this one i didn't know was here either very cool very cool and the next this story is the last story musical dolls look at this the loveliest dolls in the world i wonder if these are uh, collectible sought after musical dolls from the 1950s all right mail this coupon in and at that time yeah i don't think you have photocopiers 1951 for sure so you actually have to cut this coupon off and send it in with 598 money back offer too the human fly the fourth story in crime does not pay right the human fly a true crime story nice panel clean work look at that right oh look at all the cops shooting bang 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 look at that Cool. let's have a read our police force rarely fought, fails to get their man but usually the criminal is a plain ordinary man with less common sense than he should have 10 years ago the police were baffled by the strange case of J Peters known as the human fly this crook had an almost superhuman powers and had evaded the police for months the human fly 
eyes and that are trampolines. Look at that. A story opens in a Midwestern city on July 4th, 14, 1942. Horner's Carnival is in town. Hey, Jay, come down off that wire. We've practiced enough. The boss wants you to open this lock. It's stuck. And if there's anything you can do better than high wire acts, it's opening locks. So come on down. Okay, I'll be right there. Jay says in a matter of seconds Jay, Jay's nimble fingers had the lock open for years he had opened trick locks of all kinds and had never yet found one that he that had him stumped he hated his life in the carnival and was making plans to leave when he walked past young Steve Bays, a new uh, contortionist with the carnival. Oh, look at this guy's contortion abilities. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> now that's a picture for the ages. Right. That's a panel for the ages. Awesome. Say, you're Jay Peters, aren't you? I like it I like to talk to you got a minute sure what's on your mind <laughs> awesome that was great let's check it out I want your opinion on a new trick see this window I can get through through it without opening it any more than it it is now it's only open after eight inches it's only open about eight inches yeah got me curious but seeing it is believing as Jay watched Steve sl uh, Steve slither through the narrow space he got an idea listen Steve I'm fed up with the with the carny life I've got big plans and you fit right in with them I can open any safe made and I can climb any building but you're the one who can get in the buildings get it you must be mad you want me to be a, a thief don't be a baby there's plenty of money to be made and we're gonna make it my mind is made up we're gonna be partners you are crazy leave me alone I don't want any part of of any cricket anything cricket he says but Jay was determined and when Steve kept refusing his offer he resorted to draw to to framing he opened the cash box and put the money in Steve's makeup kit then when everyone agreed to search search and the theft was discovered I never would have believed this of you Steve I'm sorry but you'll have to leave but I didn't take the money mr. Horton honest I didn't oh you know um you know I'm leaving the carney today mr. Horton I'll take Steve with me to make sure he gets out of town you um, I'm beginning to understand the whole thing now I can explain but what's the use nobody will believe me later Steve tried to leave before Jay could find him but Jay was too shrewd for that listen if you don't stick with me I'll go to the police and tell them about you stealing Horton's money oh what a nice not a nice guy but I didn't steal it you did it he says
Who'd believe that? You're stuck, pal. You better string along with me. As a team, we'll clean up. You have no choice. He's laughing. Okay, you win. What happens now? They hitched to New York and listening to Jay's enthusiastic talk about easy money, Steve soon became eager too. It's getting dark now, Steve. That's our destination. The tenth floor. Now just follow me. It'll be a pushover. I just hope it works. Don't worry, it will, he says. Twenty minutes later. Don't worry, we'll make it. I'm with you, he says. So they're both the same mind now. Like a human fly, Jay climbed up the building, helping Steve along with him. You're doing fine, Steve. We're almost there. They reached their destination safely, and now it was Steve's turn to take over. Well, we made it. Follow me. Goes through the window. You better hurry. The watchman may be coming around. Don't worry. Everything's under control. Bring me that bag over there. Says. They got out safely with a fortune in small diamonds. Steve wanted to quit after the first job, but Jay had bigger plans in store for them. Listen to this, Jay. Amazing thief confuses, confuses police. Jewelry firm on 10th floor robbed, but no sign of forced entry found. This is only the beginning, Steve. Tomorrow night, we're doing the grand supermarket. They taken plenty of the course. They taken plenty in the course of a day. Look, Jay, we made enough money. I want to go back to the carnival. This kind of life has me jumpy all the time. I'm fed up with it. I'm sorry, Steve, but I like this life, and you're in. You're in it with me, up to your no, up to your neck, cracking safe safes. And getting up those buildings is a challenge to me. As long as we make easy dough that way, we'll do it. That next night, a large supermarket in the suburbs of the city was their target. It was a dangerous one, but Jay was uh, swell headed with success. He was sure he could get away with it. This place gets patrolled every hour, so we've got no time to waste. Oh, check out this gigantic safe. They found the office and the safe, and Jay went to work. This is a stubborn one. I'll have to rip it, rip it. I've got it. Jay, someone's coming up the stairs. We're done for unless we can get to the roof quick enough. The two climbed quickly to the roof of the building, but Steve became nervous and panicky. Jay, help me, help me, help me get away. I'll have to throw the loot on the vacant lot down under us and hope that we get in uh, get in later okay take my hand but downstairs come on Pat we checked the lock it was okay something just fell over there and I was sure I heard something before let's go let's go back the guard says Uh oh 
Holy blazes, look at him climb. Get the cops, Pat, quick. Look at that. Okay, but be careful, get out of sight. Uh oh. We're done for. One of them went for the cops. Hey, what are you doing? I'll get this guy out of the way. Oh, bang. Shoot some. Oh. They hurried back to their room. You killed him. You killed a man in cold blood. You're in this as thick as I am, kid. Now keep quiet and start packing. We got the lamb out of here. I hope the other watchman didn't get a look at us. Uh oh. Jay had a taste for the luxurious, so they cashed in the small diamonds and went to California. So far, luck was with them, and Jay steadied the situation with an eye for future jobs. Say, when are we going to pull another job? I've got it. I opened the lock that they use most most here. They'll be back. At, we'll be. You'll be back at work, kid, very soon. So he's practicing. Cool. They went back to work the next night, and were successful. Jay was riding on top of the world, as his phenom as his pheno phenomenal luck held. They made the front pages of the Hollywood papers, replacing all Hollywood scandal and even the war news. Human Fly robs Mong Mogul Studios. Was this the perfect crime? Police baffled. Huh. The Human Fly. Steve's restlessness got worse. He yearned yearned to be back in show business and finally without letting jay know he registered at the movie studio as a stuntman yeah i was with the circus been a con con uh, contortionist i can squeeze into small spaces and twist myself into any position casting you don't say well we'll call you if we can use you Oh, who's this red-headed guy hi Joe any anything new around here nothing much dick how are things at the station I hear your chief chief's a little upset about the human fly case the fly sure making a monkey of the department mm -hmm. talk about freaks that guy there is a control uh, contortionist says he can roll himself up and twist and squeeze into small places he did ah huh? see you later Joe oh there goes the cop after him it was a long shot coming to the casting office but maybe it's paying off and so it was it was shrewd thinking and a long shot in the dark that made the young detective Dick Sales tell Steve. Hmm, the cop thinks. Seems like a kind of a plush house for a Hollywood extra to live in. I'm going to try something. Oh, the detective's approaching them. Pardon me, sir. I'm from police headquarters. There have been complaints around here about tramps bothering uh, renters were asking tenants to come down to the police station to fill out question questionnaire about adequate police protection what what I've been bothered but I'll go with you I I haven't been bothered but I'll go with you I um, believe in being a good citizen oh I might as well play play 
bold. They got nothing on me, he says. At the station, Dick left Jay alone in an adjoining room and explained his plan to the irate, irate captain. I know it sounds crazy, but I have a hunch he might be might be the man we want, Captain. Yes, but supposing these men are just innocent citizens, they won't like this trick one bit. That's the chance we've got to take. How about getting the other guy in? 117 Pine Street, Captain. Okay, we'll try it. Wilson, get the other guy and use the same story sales used. Yes, sir. Steve was frightened and suspected the worst, but went with the cop meekly. In the meantime, Jay was getting suspicious and demanded to know why he was held. I stand on my rights as a citizen. Where's that detective who asked me to come here? Where's the questionnaire I was supposed to fill out? Detective Sales will be back in a few minutes. I don't know why he wanted to see you. If he's not back in five minutes, you can go. In the very next room, Dick Sales was trying to try the second step in his daring trick. Okay, Bayes, the holiday's over. We know that you and your pal pulled the supermarket and movie thefts. He's signing a full confession right now, and he put the whole blame on you. On me? But the whole thing was his idea. He tricked me into joining him. I wouldn't, won't let him do this to me oh, oh see there he is he's going to sign it now oh no no i won't let him get away with it what oh look at this look at this trickery oh more guns come out oh no what the you stupid fool you blundering idiot why did you shoot your mouth off they had nothing on us i told you not to leave the house during the day they tailed you you got me into this i'm gonna get them give i'm gonna tell them the whole story look at this he's concentrated on his sidekick so my one chance is to get him now oh look at this i'll get you for this yeah he was carrying a gun they didn't even search him when he came to the police station damn no no enraged by his betrayal jay opened fire on steve i should have blasted you a long time ago bam oh no with that with that mad furious shot jay uh, jay signed jay peter signed his death warrant oh no this guy's dead sales oh no that makes two deaths this guy's responsible for he'll pay for them with his life so ends the strange case of the human fly it was solved by one of the most daring police ruses in years but in time j peters would be uh would be would incriminate himself the criminal always pays crime does not the end damn i feel sorry for this guy he never wanted to get involved in this crap he just wanted to go be a contortionist in the carnival oh first prize what is this you can't lose if you stick with the Gleason Bureau Wood Stable. What's this? In the developing of great derby winners and world champion fighters is the stable that counts. The great stables have the tradition and know-how. 
they're they are accustomed to producing winners our stable has indisputably produced the most impressive winners in comics for all time stick with these great champions and you can't lose uncle charlie's fables dare daredevil crime and punishment boy 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 loves girl black diamond lovers lane crime does not pay so those are all the issues publications that they were uh, publishing right very cool very cool very cool very cool i feel bad about this one this guy the poor guy he didn't want to get into the robbery business or the murder business damn as the saying goes stupid friends will get you uh, in trouble right better have to better better to have intelligent enemies than stupid friends because stupid friends will always get you into trouble look at these these four wonder bargains are these wonder bargains let's check this out happy the cowboy for 298 electronic movie projector <laughs> it's one of those things you put those wheelie like little cells in and you watch but this one projects them ah oh, this is the three little pigs and the wolf where are your two brothers oh, oh. let's charge admission <laughs> boy what fun look at this 298 you can start your own movie theater three extra films for a dollar look at that what's this one real sewing machine for 298 ready for action life like sandy oh that looks creepy i'm sandy i drink i wet i sleep and you can wave my hair too wow the newest and near human dolls 398 and free 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 a wave doll you get a free what wave lotion what in the world hair kits Whoa. cool draw the first day no lessons no talent an amazing invention magic art reproducer oh it's one of these projection things you project it and then you draw you just trace it <laughs> cool also excellent for every uh, for every other type of drawing cool landscape look at that dollar cool. 98 and look at this what does this look like this looks like a Rob Layfield Superman <laughs> but a smaller version <laughs> or not Superman sorry Captain America right and if you know what I mean you know the image hey skinny how would you like to gain 56 pounds of mighty muscles like i did through jo joe training cool look at the abs on this guy whoa wow that's a cartoon figure look at this guy he's a happy muscle poser Cool. only 10 cents and the back get the prizes fun read fun read crime does not pay there's definitely some history here some dates and the centerfold is detached so let's put that back in so it's not poking out okay fun read fun read crime does not pay number 116 
from 1952. Awesome. Look at that. And the actual John Dillinger. And I think it was Pretty Boy Floyd on the next issue, right? Fun, fun, fun. I'm going to turn on chat and turn on notifications and turn on the camera. And uh, I'm going to put this thing back on the bag. Let's turn on the camera. Where are we? There we are. Hi, gang. Fun. And let me turn on the chat. Where is it at? Here's the browser. And here's the chat. Nice. I feel anatomy is legendary. <laughs> legendary indeed. Seriously, it looks like it almost looks like he took the the Captain America one straight out of this, right? Like that seriously looks like the image that he took chat, but he all he did was just amplify this a lot more. And I think the head was pointing forwards. Right. Then it was forgotten and new artists just got good because they thought the classic artists were that good as well. The pretty boy Floyd Elder God. That's me in the morning. <laughs> From this, this picture. <laughs> funny, funny. That was a fun read. I like these crime does not pay. It, uh, there's a lot of text there so it gives you uh, nice history nice background there's also a dark box with a pinhole called camera uh, obscura that allows people to cheat in another way ah this is the thing that they were selling yeah cool cool oh wow we've been at this pinhole camera pinhole camera it's two hours and 20 minutes up time wow 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 these golden age comics there's a lot of text to read so uh it takes time some of the modern comics especially in the 90s you could read the comic in like five minutes ten minutes it's just splash pages a lot of it, a lot of the image stuff that it came out so you get your money's worth for the golden age comics which is fantastic gang should we call the stream let's call the stream we went way 20 minutes over it's like sitting inside a camera and drawing the picture yourself from the projected outside down image uh, upside down image of the canvas cool 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 we made one during the last few eclipses it was cool really lots of narrative in that comic yeah indeed these crime do not pay and a lot of the uh, the other ones that they published, the uh, left Gleason and some of the other ones, it had lots of text, lots of text, a lot of narration. We've read a couple of these, so this is, I think, the, probably the third type, third or fourth type of comic that we read like this. Uh, probably the third one. We've read uh, a gangster one before and a reefer madness one before and stuff, so it's cool, gang that's eight streams in seven days so we did a nice set this round I'm gonna release the most likely the first uh, gaming stream that we did on BitChute and uh, YouTube pretty soon okay and then we're gonna release those three and then the happy stream and then the comic book reading stream okay uh, so the next set of streams I'll probably announce uh, oh yeah the Indian one the red uh what was it called uh, uh red warrior fantastic that was a great read that was a phenomenal read i that's one of the best comic books we've done readings for i really like that book um red warrior that was fantastic uh really good right uh but i'll probably announce the next set of streams probably in around three or four days um while we load on the other stuff and i do some stuff in the background okay aside from that Moz, thank you for taking care of business thank you for being here for those of you that subbed and subscribed thank you for the subs thank you for the subscribes thank you for being here thank you for listening um if you want to follow this work i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o 
I don't put anything behind paywalls everything Creative Commons share and share alike and if you want to support this work patreon is a fantastic way to support this project uh yeah for sure we got to do a movie stream i think in the next set uh and we're watching tombstone breakfast club el, to el topo and forbidden planet coolio how you doing yeah it was a good read uh we are live streaming on twitch if you want to participate in these live streams in the chat live as is happening here twitch is where you want to be at okay and again thank you for the follows thank you for the subs and thank you to the mods i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on lo minds vk gap parlor and twitter so you can follow the work on those platforms and the links will be in the description of this video after we load them up on bitshoot and youtube and through all the social networking uh, platforms we're hooked up in we do upload videos audios uh, of live discussions when we don't have any visuals to soundcloud as podcast on soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho and so they should be available on your favorite podcasting platform okay and we will be uploading this video to youtube and bitshoot and if you want to support this work uh, you can follow you can subscribe you can share you can turn on notifications and if you are on youtube you can support this work by joining youtube membership have a bucket closed for El Topo, El Topo, elder god el topo also gang thanks for being here i hope you enjoy the rest of your sunday and i'll see you guys on discord in uh on the comments section on bitchute and youtube and uh i will be announcing the next set of streams probably in around four days four or five days and we'll do the next set of videos bye for now everyone that was a lot of fun thanks for being here snake i d u d i y bye everyone